Ladies and gentlemen, I hear you want to take your tech skills as an employee and become an entrepreneur. Well, I've got the video for you right here. Moving from employment to entrepreneurship is a huge gap. You can't really do it in one go unless you just nail it absolutely first time. If you want to take this safe way, what I would do is while you're an employee at a tech company, start building your brand. What you can do is start a YouTube channel. That's what I started three years ago. I picked a niche on YouTube in regards to tech and I started producing content. Now this is a process that does take time and you're going to have to sacrifice things in order to get this done. You're going to probably have to work another extra hour a night to get more and more content. One thing you can also do is start a podcast. So you can start a tech podcast in your niche. I'd also recommend finding a co-host so that you can uh, have some banter in the podcast and also spread it out. If you look at one of my previous videos, I showed you how to make a podcast there. I actually now run two podcasts. The second podcast I started because I was enjoying making interviews so much that I wanted to have a podcast just for making, doing interviews with people on any topic. Another thing, of course, you can do is produce content on blogs. Uh, also, you can uh, go to meetups and public speaking. Public speaking is one of probably the best things you can do. I started public speaking uh, around three years ago at uh, an Ember meetup. I was talking about uh, a test recorder. Public speaking is something that many people find intimidating, but I, I don't think it's intimidating at all. It's sort of like riding a bike. It's sort of quite scary before you try it, but once you actually get the bicycle rolling, then it is quite comfortable. And I actually quite enjoy public speaking now. I don't really get nervous anymore, unless it's at an event where it's bigger capacity than I've ever spoken at before, and if I, my preparation hasn't been too good. When you do public speaking, if you can just talk to people in the crowd, like you're talking to, to one person. You don't want to talk in front of a crowd any differently than what you would before another person. I did also do some media training, some screen acting training and some television training. And when I was in front of the camera, when I spoke more carefully and more, more uh, trying to announce it, everything, they just said it looked weird. So just speak normally, nothing special. Just talk to the crowd also as an individual. Don't really say you all, talk about you and make it more personal. You also have to believe that you have value to deliver and you will improve the person's life after they exchange the money for your service. The neat thing about public speaking is leverage. When you're standing in front of one person, spending time consulting one-on-one, -on -one, then you're only able to communicate value to that one person and also earn money from that one person. But when you're in a crowd, there's in a sense no limit to the amount of people uh, that you can, uh, you know, as long as the stage is big enough, you can fit more and more people in. And many times people will be paying the same amount of money, but they're hearing the same content, but you're leveraging much, much, much more. Now I've condensed quite a lot of topics into a very small amount here. If you go to my events page, you'll see that I will actually, I have events talking about how to take your tech skills and become an entrepreneur. And that'll be an in-depth session of me and other like-minded peoples that want to take their tech skills, make a niche from it, and leverage it so that they can become a truly scalable business. Thanks so much for watching this video and I look forward to continuing my journey with you guys. See you next time.